Space is one of those areas which is a frontier still. I know a lot of people really, really think that we've conquered space, but we haven't. We've only just scratched it as a, as a starting point. And therefore, we've, we've got to invest in it as a nation for the time being until other commercial applications can start and uh, uh, take it over. Space exploration is one of those wonderful things that there's nothing like space down here on Earth. So to develop the technology, the materials, the processes that we need to send missions to outer space, we need to develop all kinds of things that we wouldn't otherwise. For example, um, you know the diaper we're using like for the babies every day at this moment, they actually developed from the full astronaut in the first stage. So I think it's very important you know, to keep people, pushing people to develop new technology for space application. And one day we can probably use them for our everyday life. So I think it, it, it provides that sort of baseline um, accessibility to space. So it, it provides people with the motivation to, to move into that kind of career, look at the kind of uh, skills that they would need and, uh, and, and then aspire to, uh, to achieve that kind of uh, role in, in their careers. So space exploration sort of starts from the very, very earliest stages and goes right the way through all levels of development as you, uh, as you build your skills and, and, and capabilities in your career development. And then finally, in my personal opinion, we see that the universe is not a terribly safe place either on the Earth or beyond. As long as we are all living on the surface of one planet, the chance of humanity being accidentally wiped out are increased. You know, it's in our own interest to go out and to have human beings living across space uh, because that will increase our chance of survival.